Welcome to our Burr Analyzer tool, which is our powerful deal analysis tool for analyzing buy, rehab, rent, and refinance deals. Our Burr Analyzer is broken down into two phases, the buy and the rehab, and the rent and refinance. So the first phase is the buy and rehab phase where you're calculating the short-term sweat equity you can build into the deal by buying a distressed property at a discount and then making smart renovations to increase the property value. So the first phase, it's basically like analyzing a flip deal. In step one, you'll enter the after repair value of what you think the property will be worth after the renovations. In step two, you'll enter the approximate purchase price that you think you can purchase the property for. In step three, you'll enter the amount of renovation costs that the property needs to get the property renovated and ready for a tenant. In step four, you can calculate all of your miscellaneous buying costs to purchase the property. You can also calculate your holding costs that you'll pay during the months while you're getting the property renovated and the property leased to your long-term tenant. And then you'll calculate the selling costs that you'll eventually have to pay down the road when you sell the property. In step five, you can set up your funding strategy for purchasing the property. You can choose to purchase the property with cash or use a short-term bridge loan to finance the purchase that you'll eventually refinance down the road. In the final step of the buy and rehab phase, it tells us how much short-term equity is currently calculated in the deal. So it looks like if we buy this property at a discount of $150,000 and invest $50,000 in renovations, it looks like we'll have about $59,000 in short-term sweat equity. So basically, if we sold the property as a flip, we could make $59,000 in profit. But instead of selling the property for a short-term profit, we actually want to hold this property as a long-term rental property to take advantage of the long-term benefits of holding real estate, and that's where phase two comes into play. So the second phase is the rent and refinance phase where you'll set up your rental income, your operating expenses, and your long-term debt service to calculate the long-term cash flow and returns you can generate by holding the property as a long-term rental. In step one, you'll set up your rental income that the property can generate on a monthly basis. If it's a multifamily property, you can add an unlimited amount of units and rental income for the property. Once you set up the property rental income, you can also set up your operating expenses, which are the monthly expenses you'll have to pay for property taxes, insurance, utilities, repairs, and maintenance. So you can quickly set up your operating expenses using the 50% rule, or you can use our itemized option to build out an itemized list of all of your operating expenses that you can expect to pay while you're holding the property. In step three, this is where you can set up the refinance loan that you'll use to perform a cash out refinance of your initial cash in the deal and pay off the short term bridge loan that you use to fund the initial purchase of the property. And then finally, in step four, you can set up your future assumptions on how long you plan to hold the property and make some assumptions on the income growth, the expense inflation and your appreciation over time. Once you complete the step-by-step -step process in phase one and phase two, your financial results will be presented on our Burr results page, which has stats, charts, and detailed breakdowns showing you how your property will perform over time. Here you'll be able to see how much short-term sweat equity you can build into the deal by buying the property at a discount and making smart renovations. You'll be able to see how much cash flow the property will be able to generate once you get the property leased to a long-term tenant. And you can see how much cash you'll need to purchase the property and how much cash you'll have remaining in the deal after you refinance the property. Now if you move down to the bottom of the summary tab, this is where you'll find the total return over time, which shows you how your investment will grow over time. Now you've got your short term equity that you initially build into the deal again from buying the property at a discount and increasing the property value by making those smart renovations. And then you have your longer term returns that you can achieve over time from cash flow, from renting out the property to your long term tenants, the amortization from the tenant paying down the principal of your loan, and then the appreciation from the property value increasing over time. 
all four of those returns, your sweat equity, the cash flow, the amortization and appreciation, they all add up to the total return that you can expect to generate on your investment. If you want to see a detailed breakdown of both the short-term buy and rehab phase and the long-term rent and refinance phases, you can click on the detailed tabs at the top, which will dive deeper into the financial results of each of those phases. All of your financial results are then used to generate professional investment packets that you can print to a PDF or you can share it with your business partners, lenders, and clients to build massive credibility and raise money for your deals. For more detailed explanations and examples of how our Burr Analyzer tool can help you analyze deals, be sure to check out our case studies that provide real-world examples and explanations of all the tools and features our Burr Analyzer has to offer.